Hi everyone! Today we're making rompope, which is the Mexican version of eggnog. It's silky, smooth, delicious, and super easy to make. The ingredients and exact amounts are listed in the description below, so make sure to check that out. We're going to start by adding the milk to a medium-sized pot, the cinnamon sticks and cloves. Set it to medium heat, but keep an eye on the temperature. If it starts to boil too fast, then lower it. The key is to cook it at almost boiling temperature. Not too high, not too low. Add the baking soda, the cornstarch, and then mix. Make sure to keep stirring the milk mixture so that it does not stick to the bottom of the pot. It is a very important step, otherwise it's going to get sticky and it's going to burn and it's not going to taste good. Add a can of condensed milk, but if you prefer to use sugar, you can use that instead. I'm adding the vanilla now since I forgot to do it earlier when I added the cinnamon, uh, but it's all good. Now we're going to cook everything for about 15 minutes to integrate all of the flavors together. Don't forget to keep stirring often. Now turn off the heat to cool completely before we add the egg yolks. We're going to separate one cup of the milk mixture into a separate bowl or cup to cool it faster. Once it has cooled down, remove the cinnamon sticks and cloves. You can also pass the milk mixture through a strainer if you prefer, but it was easier for me this way. Once the one cup of milk has cooled down completely, slowly integrate it into the egg yolks while whisking at the same time. Make sure the milk is not hot, otherwise it will cook the eggs and that's not what we want. Return the pot to the stove and heat over medium-high heat. Now it's time to add the egg mixture into the rest of the milk and continue to whisk to integrate all ingredients. Rompope does require a little patience since it's all about stirring, mixing, and whisking, but the results are all worth it. When it starts to boil, reduce the heat to low and cook for about five more minutes while stirring often. We're almost done, you guys. The last step is to remove the pot from the heat and cool for about 10 more minutes before we add the boost. Add half a cup of rum, brandy, tequila, bacanora, or whatever alcohol you prefer to use or none at all. It tastes delicious just without it too. You can drink rompope cold or hot, so it's a matter of preference. Serve in cocktail or wine glasses or even cute vintage glasses for a more festive look. Either way, people will love this delicious rompope. Okay you guys, I have one more suggestion for you. Serve rompope over ice, then you're gonna top with whipped cream, sprinkle some cinnamon, and enjoy. You will thank me later. <laughs> Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next one.